morning. Welcome back to our Kentucky Kitchen. I'm making some homemade macaroni salad today. Um, my mom made this when I was growing up, and uh, it was always so good. She had a big old green Tupperware bowl. I don't know if any of y'all remember those or not, and she would mix up a bat of it. So I'm going to make some today. Eric's going to fix some barbecued chicken thighs. So this will go good with it. I've got uh, 16 ounces of elbow macaroni on cooking right now, boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this other stuff prepped. I use bread and butter pickles. It just gives it that little sweetness taste that is so good. I've got like uh, three quarters, I think, of a large onion oh. cut up. And I've been chopping these bread and butter pickles. I don't know. You just cut up however many you want. And if you don't want them, then you sure don't have to use them. It is cold here in Kentucky this morning. I'm just chopping these into little fine pieces. Not super fine, but, you know. already had the eggs boiled. Eric, Eric boiled some yesterday and uh, just pulled those out of the fridge this morning. Like I said, you just want them in little, just little pieces, however big you want them in. I'm making it early this morning so that it can sit in the fridge and chill good. These might be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm gonna flip this around because I'm getting ready to cut up the eggs. This is always a challenge. <laughs> Cutting eggs up for me. I usually leave these in bigger pieces for salad. I know there's better ways to cut these up, but this is just how I do it. Cut those about in half there and there. To me, it's just not macaroni salad if it don't have some boiled eggs in it. Mom didn't put a lot of spices or nothing in hers. Salt and pepper and some paprika on top. And it was always good. We didn't found we didn't need a lot of spices in it. I don't think back when I was growing up, there was a lot of spices used in our household. I know there wasn't. So, cut that up a little bit more. I have got one, two, three, four, five eggs. Now, again, if you don't like eggs, don't put it in there. If you, if you like want, eggs, put more. Yeah, you can always add more or less. I just, what I make, I'm showing you how I make it for my family. So, and I can't trust myself with a great big knife, so I'm using a paring knife. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it touches those pickles because it's all going in the same bowl. Touch it eventually. Yep. And you can just kind of go through and chop them. This is going to be so good, y'all, today with those barbecued chicken thighs. Be thinking we're on a picnic or something. But it's too cold for a picnic, so. <laughs> and I know they got them little fancy egg slicers and stuff, but you know what? This is how I, whoops, when the dogs will eat up, it's okay. <laughs> and eggs are not bad for them, so it's all good. 
It might take a little while because it, it didn't make no noise when it hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So they may not, they may still be asleep. I don't know. But you can kind of see the size I'm leaving them in. It's just easy just to run your knife through them like that. Okay, eggs are cut up. Well, I got the macaroni cooked. Got it rinsed in cold water because it's going to be a cold salad. I did not want to leave it hot. And when you rinse it in the cold water, it helps take some of that starch out of there also. So I'm going to go ahead and be putting my bread and butter pickles in. The onion. Whoever cut those onions did a fine job. Yes, Harry cut those up for me. <laughs> We like egg in our salad, so. And I gotta get one thing over here. So I don't stick the tool back in the mayonnaise. And we're using Duke's, which we love. No, we're not sponsored by them. We just love their mayonnaise. <laughs> I've been a huge mayonnaise fan, but that stuff is. Yeah, I wonderful. am not measuring this because it is up to your personal taste, however much you want in here. Just going to give this a go through here. You'd be surprised how much mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, if you use that, that you put in this stuff because it's a dry salad. This and potato salad, I think it takes a lot of mayonnaise in them to get them to have that creaminess. Mm, yum, yum. Just want to make sure that's all mixed in there good. Get all them little pieces. Make sure they're coated good with that mayonnaise. And little road noodles that try to yes. climb up the side <laughs> of the bowl. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in here. And I'll mix that up in here. I want it to have some salty taste to it. You're going to have that salty and then that little bit of sweetness from the bread and butter pickles. Now, as you can see, that looked like a lot of bread and butter pickles, but it didn't just overwhelm it with them. We gotta wait till later, don't we? Yes, do you have to wait till later? Oh, well. let this sit up good and chill good for at least a few hours. Okay, and now my mom would need this. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to open the shaker. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, well, sorry. wrong side. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm human. I make mistakes, but I can laugh about it. So... There you got it. Now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to chill. And we'll be back to let you know how good this tastes. Well, I got the macaroni salad out of the refrigerator. It's good and chilled. I've dished up Erica plate to try. Just got to show you all this. Okay. He's my taste tester. The worst so. part of all this, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. So, hope y'all can make you some macaroni salad like my mama used to make. 
and enjoy you some. And if you uh, would, please like, share, and subscribe our channel, our page. And hope y'all have a blessed day, and we love y'all.